Good morning again, guys. Watch Woman 65. Listen, I got some news about this uh, um, whistleblower doctor who in China who allegedly was detained for sounding the alarm over the coronavirus. Well, Fox News just came out and said that this person has died. Uh, it says that a doctor in China who was allegedly detained for sounding the alarm over the coronavirus before he was sickened by the illness has died. Now, I don't know whether it was by the illness or what it was by, but that's the report that I'm getting. I also wanted to come on and let you know something else about this that I found um, not surprising. It says that China is keeping two sets of coronavirus pandemic numbers, and it's been leaked. Um, it says that uh, the infection numbers over 154,000, and the deaths are actually approaching 25,000. And it says here, for the last 10 days, infectious disease experts around the world have been warning that China is radically downplaying the true numbers of infections and deaths caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Now evidence has emerged that appears to indicate China is keeping two sets of numbers when it comes to infections and deaths. A set of real numbers and then a second set of official numbers which are far lower. Zero Hedge reported this morning as Taiwan News reports in a rep report first spotted by a user at the HK group over the weekend. Tencent seems to have inadvertently released what is potentially the actual number of infections and deaths which were astronomically higher than officials than official figured and were far closer to the catastrophic catastrophic epidemic projections made by Jonathan Reed the link to Taiwan news is found found here so I'm going to link this um, in the description box the publications report also notice that each time the screen with the large numbers appears, it shows a comparison with the previous day's data, which demonstrates a reasonable incremental increase, much like comparisons of official numbers. This has led some uh, this has led some to speculate that Tencent has two sets of data the real data and process data. According to official numbers from mainland China, which are updated daily at websites like QQ.com, the current number of coronavirus infections is still under 25,000. Even then, it currently appears to be expanding at roughly 20% per 24-hour period, which represents a doubling of infections every three and a half days because the growth is compounded. However, observers have noted that the official numbers reported by the communist Chinese government recently slipped into the real numbers, suddenly showing far higher confirmed infections and deaths. 154,024 infections and 24,589 deaths. So I'm going to leave this description box, leave this in a description box. The initial reaction from observers might be something along the lines of, that was just a typo. So they corrected it. However, there is more to the story. The higher numbers didn't merely appear by themselves out of context. Above each number is an increase factor that calculates how much larger today's numbers are compared to yesterday's numbers. 
For the 24,589 deaths located at the lower right of the graphic, I'm going to show this, this, when I show you this, put this in the description box, you will see the graphic and how they're coming up with this. The Chinese characters next to the number compared to yesterday. You will see all this. So they have fudged the numbers. There is very strong evidence that the Chinese government has two sets of numbers related to the coronavirus pandemic and is choosing to deceive the public by releasing numbers which are roughly one-tenth the actual number of infections and deaths. I'm going to leave this um, in the description box, and like I said, if something else comes up, I will let you know what's going on. But that doctor who blew the whistle on this has died. I don't know whether he succumbed to the virus itself or whether he was killed. I don't know, but he has died. So I wanted to come on and give you that, and I'll be back on later. Thank you.